Today we're going to take these old fogged up headlights and make them look like this. We're going to be doing something slightly different between the left headlight and the right headlight and comparing the differences at the end of the video. Now, for the left headlight, we'll be starting with 800 grit sandpaper, moving up to 1500 grit, and then finishing with a compound and then polish. For the right headlight, we'll be doing the same 800 and 1500 grit. However, we'll be throwing in an extra 3000 grit sandpaper. The higher the number of grit, the finer it gets. So we're going to be starting at 800, that is the coarsest number, and finishing with a much finer grit between 1500 for the left light and 3000 for the right. Now when it comes to compound and polish, we mean the grit level on the compound and polish usually ranges between 3000 and 5000. So by doing this test, comparing left and right, we are in fact comparing whether or not we even need to throw in that step of having 3000 grit sandpaper. I've tried many different methods on restoring these lights. I've even tried all the kits out there from AutoZone and O'Reilly's. Not only are the kits more expensive than what I'm doing here, but they're also far less effective. In my experience, they've proven exceptionally useless and overall just a big waste of money. Now, as we move on to finer sandpaper, the headlight starts looking a little more clear. Now, I am moving through these steps a little quickly, but don't worry. I'll leave detailed instructions in the description. And finally, we're on the polishing step. Now, remember, this is the last and final step, and it's at this point when we either start to be really happy with the results we're seeing, or really sad. For me, it's a little bit of both, and that I'm noticing some deeper scratches, which I didn't get with the rougher grit. That's why it's really important just to spend extra time on that rougher grit. Don't feel like you need to use a power buffer if you don't own one. You can get the exact same results from the soft side of a kitchen sponge from your sink. Now, I'm by no means a professional detailer, and you really don't have to be one for this job. In fact, this channel's primarily about repair and maintenance of these Mercedes diesel Sprinter vans. So if that interests you, and if you own a Sprinter van, take a moment after this video and check out my channel. And the results are in. This is the right headlight, which I used three different levels of sandpaper, 800, 1500, and 3000 grit. Notice how much higher clarity it has and the overall finish certainly turned out to be far superior. And now compare it with the left light. I only used 800 and 1500 grit sandpaper on this light. And notice if we get really close, we can start to see the small scratches which were unable to be buffed out 